I'm going to tell you a story about Spicoli. Uh, I, I thought he was, he was one of my best friends and one of the greatest workers. And uh, we're in Japan for FMW, and uh, he was such a great worker. The office loved him. But uh, he always had to piss, and we're riding the bus with 20 other guys, so we had to keep stopping for him to piss. So fi finally he got tired of telling them to stop, so he pissed in a bottle, right? So he pisses in a bottle, then we pull up to a truck stop to go to the bathroom. He doesn't go out. He pours it out the window, and I go to the bus driver. He's a Japanese guy. I go, look, he's pissing out the window. But I was joking. He was pouring the piss out the window. So he got him fired. So he got fired from FMW because of me. So I got him hired in ECW because I wanted to re because I felt bad for him. So the only reason Paulie kept him around is because I forced him to. That's the only time I, I, I forced a hand. I said, well, if you fire Spicoli, I'm not coming back. Then he goes, okay, Spicoli's got a job. But he made him eat shit the whole time he was there. You know what I mean? As he's being late now and stuff, is he, he's starting to catch heat with Paul. With, yeah. And but, but he had a pass because I was on his side. And so was Van Damme. You know, we, we were on his side. So the more heat he got, the more heat we gave Paul Lee. But he still got heat. He was a heat seeker. He, um... But, again, he was one of my favorite guys in the world. Right. Yeah. He, um, he does a very quick, uh, I think a 30-second, 31-second job to Taz here at the show. Is this at punishment? The, at, at the Boston thing. At yeah, the, and this is punishment, track. right, yeah. for being yeah. late. And, and I, uh, I go to Lou, because I was mad when I heard that he had to do it so quickly like for Taz for in like a minute or 30 seconds or whatever. And I go, man, what, what's your finish tonight? He goes, 30 seconds, woohoo. I go, you're happy about it? He goes, yeah, it's going to be easy. I said, well, if you're happy about it, I'm happy about it. I was going to go fight for him, but he didn't want me to. He was happy. <laughs> How many times did you have to go fight for Louie? Uh, every week for two years. Yeah. <laughs> um. he's, just, he's one of those guys that uh, most people hated him, but that made me like him more. You know what I mean? He, 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 he didn't try to kiss ass, but he was nosy. And he didn't try to outdo somebody, but he always tried hard. But, but for some reason, he always rubbed the guys the wrong way, but he never rubbed me the wrong way. Right. You know, he was always, I always he was a, to me, he was always a great guy. To other guys, he was a bit of an asshole, but he wasn't. He was just, just perceived that way. Van Damme, too. You know, a lot of people thought he was an asshole, but that, that was just him. After you understood him or got to know him, you realize that's, that's just him, and he's not acting, and he's not trying to be an asshole. He just kind of acts, kind of seemed that way. <laughs> Going back to Louis, um, at, at what point do you start to realize that maybe he's in danger with what he's been doing? I, I didn't think it was that bad, you know, um, because, you know, I, I was doing it too, you know, taking the pills and all that stuff, but I didn't... I didn't think it was that bad. See, the thing with him, uh, people think the, the, the somas or the pill killed him. It, that ain't what killed him. It, it contributed to it. Is what happened was he took the pills, he ate some food, he ate some ice cream, drank some wine, then he passed out. Then when he threw up, he inhaled it. So he, he choked on his vomit. He didn't really die from an overdose. He just couldn't get off his back and he choked. Right. You know, so everybody thinks like he took too many solos, his heart stopped. That wasn't how it was. He, he choked on his, his vomit and he suffocated. So his cause of death was asphyxia? Yeah. 